What's up guys, back with another educational video and this week we're talking about these guys. <laughs> One of the things I get a lot when people are signing up to our app Carbon Diet Coach is, hey, how does carbon factor in your calories burned during exercise? Or people will say, where do I input calories that I burn during exercise? Because they're used to apps like, uh, for example, MyFitnessPal, which actually, if you burn like 500 calories on MyFitnessPal, it will actually add that back into the calories that you're allotted to eat. Carbon doesn't do that, and I'm gonna explain why. The first thing to keep in mind is that you guys are assuming that these are accurate. These are not accurate. In fact, a meta-analysis back, I think in 2018, examined about like 20 different wrist-worn energy expenditure trackers for exercise and found that they overestimated calories burned by anywhere from 28 to 93%. Meaning if your watch said that you burned 500 calories, it actually meant you burned more like 250 to 400. So now imagine if you're eating that back every day, that could slow or even straight up stop your progress if the goal is fat loss. So people ask me all the time, what about the ones that have like the, the chest strap or whatever? It doesn't matter. They all use the same technology. It's all algorithms mostly based off of your heart rate. What I want to emphasize is I'm not saying that these devices are completely useless. For example, even though they aren't accurate, what is likely is within the same individual that the relative amount of calories expended from day to day, there's probably a relative degree of precision. So what I mean is that if your watch says that you burn a thousand calories during a workout, and like for me, for example, during a two hour workout, my watch will say that I burn about a thousand calories. Now, whether or not that's accurate, probably not. But I do know that, if, for example, if I have a day where it says I burn, you know, 1,200 versus I usually burn 1,000 based on my watch metrics, I may not know exactly how many I burned, but I can be relatively confident that I probably burned more on the day it said 1,200. Again, it, it's almost impossible to know exactly how many calories you expend from exercise using one of these. You would really need like a double labeled water or an metabolic chamber to really know those things. There's a few reasons that we don't do this with our app. The first being, we don't like the possibility that it could create kind of a disordered mindset where you're earning your calories or you're overeating and then you are trying to compensate by doing a ton of exercise or on the flip side, you're doing a ton of exercise not because you love exercise, but because you just want to, you know, justify like really huge cheat meals and those sorts of things. We don't really think that that's a healthy mentality to have. The other thing is that it's just, like we said, it's just simply not accurate. Many, many people I've worked with previously have said things like, I'm eating in a calorie deficit and I can't lose weight. And then when we look at their calorie deficit, part of that calorie deficit assumes that the number reading that they're getting from this watch is somehow accurate. They said, well, my treadmill or my elliptical or my watch says that I burned, you know, a thousand calories. What do you think is more likely? That you are defying the laws of physics or that your watch that's simply measuring your heart rate might be making an inaccurate assumption of how many calories you burn? Because I'm going to think it's probably the latter. The other thing is in terms of trying to determine your total daily energy expenditure, which is the most important point for carbon or frankly, any coach who wants to make adjustments to your calories to help you reach your goal, finding your total daily energy expenditure in terms of the average total daily energy expenditure is what's really critical because your total daily energy expenditure is going to be the amount of calories that you maintain your body weight on because your maintenance calories are equal to your TDEE. How do you find your TDEE? The best way, the most practical way, and probably the most accurate way is to weigh yourself daily, take the average of that, and then look at that versus your daily average calorie consumption. So for example, if you go a few weeks and you're basically maintaining your body weight, then that is your maintenance calories. That is your TDEE. If you're maintaining your body weight and you're eating 3,200 calories, that's your TDEE. I don't care what any tracker says, 
that is your maintenance calories. Let's say you're interested in your TDE and you also are trying to lose fat. We can make certain assumptions based on the amount of weight you gain or lose in terms of what the caloric content or the energy content of that weight is based on research studies examining the composition of weight gain and weight loss during overfeeding and underfeeding. And that's what carbon does. So basically the app is looking at how many calories did this person consume? How much weight did they gain or lose? And what is the gap between those two? So for example, while it's not completely accurate, the whole, you know, a pound of fat contains 3,500 calories, not completely accurate, but it's somewhat close. If somebody lost a pound during a week, it's likely that they're around a 3,500 calorie deficit during that week. If they are eating at say 2,000 calories, their maintenance calories may be somewhere around 2,500 calories. I'm not saying a pound of fat is exactly 3,500 calories or a pound of weight is exactly 3,500 calories. It depends on the composition of the weight lost. Uh, it depends on your starting body fat. It depends on quite a few things. I'm just giving a general kind of example. The more times you weigh in and the more times you input your calories, especially with regards to Carbon App, the more accurate that measure is gonna become. Now, I've been using Carbon Diet Coach for like over two years now, and I know pretty much based on my level of training and my lifestyle based on the current lifestyle I have that I maintain my weight at right about 3,400 calories, somewhere between 3,400 and 3,450 calories per day. And so that's easy for me. If I want to modify, I want to lose fat, the app just knows, okay, we need this much calorie deficit if the rate of weight loss we are targeting is X. If I want to try to gain weight or reverse diet, same thing in a different direction. So once again, we don't use these to input calories burned from exercise because they are simply just not accurate and they create more problems than they solve when it comes to coaching clients. Once again, I'm not saying they're not useful tools, especially when it comes to heart rate, step tracking, they're actually very accurate for those. So they can be useful tools, just don't necessarily believe what it's telling you in terms of calories burned. All right, guys, hope the video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Also, if you're interested in our nutrition coaching app, Carbon Diet Coach, which can help you with fat loss, maintenance, reverse dieting, or gaining muscle, click the link in the description. It's a fabulous app. We have tens of thousands of users, 4.7 stars in the app store. People are loving it. Make sure you click download and subscribe. It's 10 bucks a month. It's like 20 times less than you'd pay for a reputable nutrition coach. So if you can't afford nutrition coaching or you feel like you only need a little bit of guidance but don't need the full-fledged one-on-one nutrition coaching, absolutely fabulous option. I use it myself. Holly uses it herself. We use it to coach us. That's how good it is. All right, guys. Catch you next week.